Today I was up in South Armagh after travelling from uh, Belfast at some business down in Belfast, but I couldn't believe it. Uh, while I was about 300 yards away from where my first uncle, or one of my uncles, was shot dead, and it's about a quarter of a mile away from the Kingsmill Massacre, the police boxed me in, and uh, these boys jumped out. To be honest with you, at the start, I thought, here we go again, it's the IRA. Uh, they were wearing boiler suits, fair enough, but they had no hats, they had no nothing, no identification of any type on them. Uh, and at the start, I automatically assumed this is the Provies. And then I couldn't believe it. They told me that they stopped me uh, under the Terrorism Act and they were going to search the vehicle. They also asked me where I was it coming from. And I said I'd come from Belfast. I'd been down on the Sandy Road. And uh, that seemed to be an issue with them. And then they started to ask me, what was I doing down in the Sandy Row? Had a business in it. What reason was I there for? I, I couldn't believe their attitude. And then when I heard the southern accents, I thought to myself, is this the Iran or the guards? It just the surprised. It just took me completely by surprise. And then they ordered me out of the car. Um, they then started to search the vehicle uh, and it, I kept asking them well, what was going on, why was this happening? Now I know now why it's happening. Uh, like They knew that I was down in Belfast, they seemed to have an issue about what I'm doing in Belfast, uh, also about what I'm doing with in relations to the IRA in South Armagh. Uh, we know that Dard it comes into the agenda there as well, where I said I'll expose the top men in Dard who's been involved in covering up the fraud for the IRA in South Armagh. But it's it was a blatant, blatant attempt to intimidate me. And uh, they pushed and they pulled at me. And it took me a few seconds to recover from it. And then obviously I was in the hospital the day as well and uh, I wasn't feeling the best. But uh, the attitude of them boys is just unbelievable. And they actually searched the car, not once, but twice. And one of them actually stood and looked into it and looked disappointed. Now, they took my camera, deleted photographs off my camera. I could took the camera out and I started to take a few photographs to show the police vehicles the way they had me boxed in. They pushed me and shoved me till they got the camera off me. They then deleted the photographs that I had on the camera. Now, unbeknown to them, I had another device, and you can actually hear them talking about deleting the pictures. Bridget, you had it too, sir. I'm heading just over here, listening to Lee. Where about, sir? I'm heading over listening to Lee. Where were you, Dave? What's the Fraser? Uh, Belfast. Were you? Yeah. Can you ask why I was pulled in? Mr. Fraser, I want to search your car, please. Um, Alright. Can you get out, please, and open the boot for me? Okay. Uh, they're searching the vehicle. 
We're checking that camera to make sure. No, you're not. Okay. Don't, don't, don't. Right, sir. Right, right. Okay. They have their hands on me here at the minute. So they have, they have their hands on me at the minute here. Okay. You used to the boys a bit of Please calm you down. You pulled me and sir, boxed me in. The last time down. I was boxed in, it Nobody was by the IRA. Okay. I was boxed in by the IRA. Nobody the last is time boxing you in, sir. You should be boxed in. You've a car in front and a car behind. Save yourself. Can you take a look? I would say that I'm going to give you that there. Okay. Do you see a police officer's face on that camera? No, I don't see a police officer's face on that camera. I see a police officer's face on that camera. Let me see him. Anyway, yeah. keep that camera. They've stolen the camera now as well. Yeah, you should keep that camera. Yes, just without the uh, photographs and we're just checking that he hasn't got any of her faces in it. Okay. The last time Thank I was boxed in, about the IRA and all sorts of other things. So I am saying about the last time I was boxed in, it was by IRA. Right. There it is. What do you want? No. I haven't been given anything. That's the fence a little. Yeah. Well, okay, charge me. So there's your camera part. No, not taking it. Thank you. Now, I'm 300 yards away from where my uncle was murdered. I'm a quarter of a mile away from where the Kingsville Massacre took place. IRA men are driving, two IRA men that I knew, drove slowly past and smiled. Is it any wonder there was 30 of these men throughout of the PSNA last year for connections to dissident Republicans? It's quite obvious there is an agenda here, but I will not be intimidated, not by these people. And not for no agenda that somebody has to try and cover up the workings of the IRA in South Armagh, the multi-million pound fraud that has been on. And also there's people who think that the loyalist community, unionist community shouldn't be standing together. That's not a crime. Well, it's not a crime. These individuals were aggressive. They were ignorant. But certainly, when you search a car not once but twice, and indeed stand and look into it as if you were trying to find something, deleting my photographs of the camera, uh, trying to go through the paperwork that I had sitting in the car to see what it was, there was no call for it. And then, at the start, when they took my wallet, the, I've never seen this done before either, they took my wallet and they went back to the the car that was behind us and where we were sitting in that car went through my wallet. Now it wasn't until later on I did go to Cross McLean because I said to them, has the IRA signed news down here to intimidate me? Is this what this is all about? To get me to shut up and go away? Because it'd not work. Because I'll tell you what I'm doing now. I'm going to slab Murphy's yard and I am going to ask them are you doing this at his request? Or Connor Murphy's yard? Because it can be coming from nobody else. Now, when I was travelling up the road, because I did go to Crossman Glen, when I was travelling up the road, 
I happened to look into my wallet, I pulled in and looked into my wallet, and the credit card was gone out of it. Now, what, what do you say? I then went to the police station in Crossmore Lane and I reported the fact that the credit card uh, was missing out of my wallet. But what sort of police force have we got? They are driving up and down the road and I'm getting pulled out of the car and getting searched while they are driving up and down.